Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Age of Empires 2 HD edition tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on continuing the tutorial campaign so we are now on the, the campaign the Battle of Stirling which is this one just here. So let's begin. The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longchance is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Right, okay, so here we go. There's the objective, defeat the English army and destroy their tower. You do get hints. This scenario begins in a similar way to random maps. After you play this scenario, you should know all there is to, you need to know about random map game. Keep exploring. Okay, so here we go. That's what we got to do. Kill the English pigs and destroy their tower. Right, so. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villagers at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Right, okay, so let's send the scout off. I'm going to scout all this area around my base, my town. And I'm going to get my villagers gathering food, just like he's just said. So let's grab them all and put them on a bush. The odd again. Okay, so that's free. Like he said, we want at least ten, so seven more. Okay, remember as well you've got your set gather point, so you can just right click wherever you want and that's where the new people will spawn to. So when he's this peasant's made, there we go, it'll go straight there. Good. Now I've got some getting food, so I need to get some on wood and some on stone and gold so let's find them resources see if we can find some sheep as well right we're near the water so maybe this campaign will let us make fishing ships we will see you see though that the scout is not only very quick but also he shows a wide area around himself so simply the best way to scout out everywhere you found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town centre and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town centre and click the set gather point button. Yeah, I've shown you that already. That's that button there. Okay, so... Need to build more houses. Ah, right. Let's Hello. grab this person Hello. and get them to build another house. And I'm going to put the houses... Where am I going to put the houses? Good question. Uh, let's put the houses just here. See, if I scout this out, we'll find the best place to build the houses. I think it might be on this side. I'm not sure, though. If the enemy's on the west, we want to build the houses on the east. Does that not make logical sense? So, lots of stone here. There's also some deer we can hunt. But we don't need to, because we can just build a farm. There, the house is built, so I'm now going to get more peasants. We still need to find... I still need to find the gold. If there is gold in this map, I'm sure there must be. 
Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Ah, oh, there's the gold. Right, cool. Now, providing there's not an enemy tower right over it, that will be a good source for gold. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Yep, so like he said, this approach here would be a good place for me to build a tower, which I'm going to, because the enemy will start attacking. Okay, that's all this um, scouted out. What I'll do is I'll keep my scout over here so he can warn me if the enemy does come. So I'll put him just there. Right, let's get a couple of these. I don't want all four. Gathering gold. Let's get the other three building, first of all, a mill. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Okay, first I'm going to build this um, for, let's see, what was it called? I'm going to build a mining camp here so they haven't got so far to run with that, all that gold. Because it is heavy and it's going to weigh them down, so it be nice and quick for them to gather gold. And next, then I will do stone. Okay, oh. I'm now going to send them up here and build a mining camp next to the stone. Just there. Okay, while they're doing that, let's make another. Now, to make five villagers at a time, press the left shift key, left click. And you see, five at a time, or six in fact. Um, let's build another house, because I've already hit capacity. There we are, so I've got stone being gathered, gold being gathered, food being gathered, and wood. I just now need to make a load more villagers for each resource. Right, good. Let's build another house. These are now going to start coming out. Right, they can start on the sheep, in fact. They can go to gold. They can go to wood. Oh, let's build another house. Rob Wicker. I wonder who Rob Wicker is. Anyway, let's carry on. Right, so this one can build a fishing dock. You can see there, build. In fact, no, first we need a lumber camp. So these don't have so far to run. Right, okay, enough woodcutters there. In fact, let's put one more on woodcutting. This person now can build the dock. 
Rob Wigger. So I need some more people gathering stone, a couple more, and a couple more on gold. Let's do six more villagers, or four more. Of course I'm out of food, so I think I'll get these four doing food. Now, click the duck and build a fishing ship. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a fishing ship. Of course, that will get me lots of food. So these can be on building and buildings and resources. So this person, let's get them gathering gold. This one can build a barracks. Fish, not enough wood. Click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. It's okay, I'll select that fishing ship. And right Through the click barracks there. and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. Right, we've got lots of wood cutting going on, it. which is good. So this one, I now want to build a barracks. Hopefully I've got enough wood. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Okay, so let's do this barracks. In fact, I'm going to do the tower first because I don't know if the barracks is going to spawn the enemy. Well, let's have a look. It'd be nice to upgrade. So let's do the loom. Makes your villagers harder to kill. Yeah, so let's do that first. And then see if I can upgrade my age. Okay, I've got a nice load of resources now being gathered. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we can advance to the feudal age. No, we can't. Not enough food. Right, okay, let's get more food gathering going on. Right, okay, that should be loads for the food. Of course, I could set the uh, gather point on the food and then that way they'll automatically gather the food. There we go. I'm nearly at my full capacity, so I'm going to need to build more houses. There we go. Let's build another house. Another house. Yep, we need lots of houses. Now, the maximum amount of population that you can have in your settlement is 75. So, I've still got 45 more. It's such a shame that there's that limit, but never mind.
Oh wow, there is the timer. Let's build another house. Okay, well the timer's gone, I'll have to end this episode here. We will continue on in this campaign in the next episode and we'll start by building a load of farms. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.